Peace, power, and prosperity, family. This is Amir representing Cryptonomic Consultations coming to you once again. And today we are doing a Binance tutorial video. Um, we did a previous video showing the viewer how to sign up for the Binance exchange market as well as uh, transfer funds from your Coinbase wallet over to the exchange market via Bitcoin. And keep in mind the same format that we use as far as the copy and paste method can be used for different wallets if you're using the exact same device and you have both the wallet and the exchange market sign-in sheet, or I mean the exchange market uh, on the same device. So um, to get through with showing you how to maneuver through the system, when you first sign in, you'll be brought to this home page, which will show you a number of different banners. Um, they do have a referral program, which we'll go take a look at real quick. And as you can see, you, uh, you are given a link. This is your referral ID, or you can, you can simply send somebody the referral link, and they will be able to sign up using your uh, referral link. This is a demo account, so I do not have any referrals. Will I ever have any referrals on here? Um, you invite friends, and you get paid. You get received 20% commission in real time on their trades. So anything they trade, I believe you receive, you get 20% commission. So let's make sure. I know when I first signed up, it used to be 50%. It used to be 50%. So these are the program, program details. The commission you receive from the referral program will initially be set at a rate of 20%. Then this will be adjusted after a certain period of time based on the situation. The fee commission will be sent instantly in real time to your Binance account as you referee completes uh, referee completes each trade and would pay, be paid to you in whatever token or cryptocurrency the original fee was paid in. There is no limit to the number of friends you can refer. Although we do reserve the right to adjust or change the referral program rules at any time, the referee must be signed up through your referral link, QR code, or referral ID. We will check for duplicate or fake accounts and will not pay out referral bonuses on these accounts. Duplicate or shared finances will result in disqualification. Please note, Binance reserves the right to change the terms of the referral program at any time due to the change in market conditions, risk of fraud, or any other factors we deem relevant. And as I said, when I first signed up for the Binance exchange market, I'm going to go back and look at previous videos, but I do believe they were giving out 50% commission. So as I said, that's just one of the options that you have on the banner uh, side when you first log in. Um, under that, they'll have a couple of announcements. The cloak competition, uh, where they're giving away 5,000 cloak coins. They're letting you know uh, different tokens they've listed, uh, both Augur and they'll be listing True USD on the 18th of May. Um, below that, they have a couple of choice coins that they'll present to you. Um, and I believe these are dictated. Mm, I'm not sure how they pick which coins they're going to present to you. It may be by 24 hour volume. But as you can see, the volume on these are far, are far and wide different. You got BNB token uh, coming in at only 1,405 BTC, and then EOS coming in at 13,000 BTC. So either way, it's going to show you a certain amount of tokens. It's going to give you their price, the uh, percentage difference, whether it's negative or positive, as well as the coin versus the uh, pairing currency. So most of these right here are paired with BTC. As you can see, they're showing you Binance, EOS, Tron, Cloak, and Zcash. Below that, what you'll see are the different markets that you are allowed to shop using the Binance Exchange market. So they do have a BNB market, which is the Binance token or Binance coin, which is the native coin of the Binance Exchange market. Um, and by using this coin or holding this coin, rather, you are able to receive 50% uh, a 50 fee reduction when you're trading. So instead of them taking the fees away in Bitcoin, they'll take it away in BNB token and it will only be 50% uh, of the cost. And as you can see, they have a pretty nice uh, market as far as coins that are available for the BNB token. Let's see. Let's see how long the list is. Steam down to 278. Wow. Now, a different way that you're able to transact with these markets 
as far as looking at your tokens is you're able to look at them in alphabetical order of the pair starting from Z going from A to Z or Z to A you're able to look at the last price starting at the highest to the lowest or lowest to the highest the 24 hour change as far as highest to the lowest or lowest to the highest you see the 24 hour low the 24 hour high as well as the 24 hour volume which you're able to see from the highest volume which right now is in Zill to the 24 hour lowest right now which is in SYS token um, they have a BTC market which is all the currencies that you're able to trade against BTC you have an ETH market for those that are trying to accumulate more of Ethereum as well as USDT market which is not as large as um, gate.io which probably has about 50 maybe more tokens you can trade against USDT now the significant thing about trading in USDT is it makes it easier to calculate the dollar amount because what USDT is um, is the cryptocurrency equivalent to the United States dollar so it's dollar for dollar so if you're trading in Qtum or Ripple or whatever the case may be and you're using a hundred dollars in USDT your percentage of your profits will be placed in dollar amounts it won't be in uh, Bitcoin Ethereum or BNB therefore being subject to the fluctuation of the dollar value of Bitcoin um, it will be in USDT so whatever the dollar is the dollar is and that's what you'll be receiving continuing on as you see at the top of the screen you're given a couple of uh, tabs you have the exchange tab labs info funds orders join us for those that are wishing to uh, join and be employed by Binance uh, the support tab where you fill out your support tickets the news and then your account tab so real quick we'll look at the exchange and we're gonna look at the basic exchange market first looking at BNB token um, please be patient give it a second to load up for some reason while I record um, and use the Binance exchange market it tends to freeze up or move a bit slow so please be uh, patient let's let it load up and this seems to be the hardest part when recording to capture as it does not like it does not like to um to respond well see it's telling us there's a hold up there's a wait to the response so let's give it a second and see if we can uh, wait it out see if it could pop up for us let's see maybe if I let's see maybe if I close some of these other tabs up then we'll be able to uh, look at the actual basic exchange market in BNB Hopefully by closing some of the other tabs, we freed up um, the amount of network that it's having to use. Let's see. Let's give it a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds, hopefully, and see if we can get it to load up for us. As of right now, it's still taking a second. Still waiting for it to load up, still waiting for it to load up. It is saying, it is stating that it is. Meaning a, a little bit of resistance as far as loading. Um, it is meaning a, 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 a small bit of resistance. Let's see, maybe... Maybe if we close down this last tab, let's see, because I do want to get through this. Uh, I do want to get through this tutorial for you, the viewer, and show you how exactly to transact through this system. Definitely trying to show you how to transact through this system. Maybe if we reload the page, let's try to reload it. Give us a second. Let's try to reload the page. So now we're waiting for the page to load up. Uh, 
made let's see let's exit let's go back let's see if we can finally have the page load up for us since closing all other tabs since closing all other tabs let's see if we can get the page to load up for us so we are back to the home screen we are back to the home screen let's see let's try let's let's pick a low cap let's see 24 hour let's pick a low volume coin because it can also be affected by the amount of volume that's coming in the amount of action that it has so let's check out check out evx on the basic price uh chart What we're looking at now, what we're hoping to load up now is the basic exchange looking at EVX. There we go. There we go. So let's give it a second. Let's let it uh, fully load up. This is the basic exchange market with EVX, the basic exchange market. Um, the first thing you'll see when logging on, I mean, when um, going on to the basic exchange is you'll have the, the token that you're trading on or, or trading with versus the currency. So we have EVX versus BTC. Um, across from that, you'll have the last price that it was traded at, the 24-hour change in percentage, as well as the, uh, the Satoshi amount. You'll see the 24-hour high, the 24-hour low, as well as the 24-hour volume in BTC. Let's see if we can get some reaction from the page. Okay, we do have action. So over here on the left-hand side, what you're seeing right here are sale orders. These are live sale orders. These are those that are holding the EVX token that want to sell it. Below that, you have the buy orders. And these are those that have BTC that wish to buy EVX. Over here on the right-hand side, you have the different markets, BTC, ETH, BNB, and USDT, as well as your favorites. And you have the different tokens that you can take a look at. Below that, you have your trade history. Oh, hold on. Excuse me, family. There we go. Below that, you have your trade history, which is the live trades. And you can look at both the market's trade history as well as your own trade history. Now, what you have here is your buy and your sell windows. This is where you will place your orders at. You have limits, which will allow you to pick the price that you want to buy or sell at. You have market orders, which will allow you to buy or sell at the current price. And then you have stop limits, which will allow you to pick a price to buy or sell at that will only be triggered by prior action of another price. So buying, let's say you wanted to buy at a certain price. Let's say you wanted to buy when it um, started to rally to a certain price and you wanted a a target to get hit before your your buy order was executed you would type in the price that you wanted the target to be you would type in the price you wanted the target to be as well as the price you want to buy in at and when the price action hits that target it would then execute your buy order and place it in order for you to buy in and then you have the opposite effect with the sell orders if you want to sell at a certain price, only if the price action goes that low, only if the price action goes that low, you would pick the price action that you want the trigger to occur at. You would pick the price action that you want the trigger to occur at, as well as, as well as the price you want the uh, your order to sell at. And right here, you see we got 10% um, fee versus uh, I mean point 10 percent fee versus a point zero five percent fee. And this is when using the BNB token. Let's see if we can scroll down and look at our open orders and our 24 hour order history. Let's see if we can get down to look at that. Um, we're almost through the uh, tutorial. We are almost through the tutorial. We're meeting a little bit of resistance as far as internet connection. I do apologize though we were able to get a nice amount of um, tutor of the tutorial video done before meeting this resistance, we have been able to go through a bit of a uh, bit much. This is probably like my sixth time trying to do this. I do not know why the internet connection, it's not even the internet connection actually, it's the Binance exchange market itself. 
So yeah, see a steady. Uh, let me see. Please wait to become responsive. So the page has become unresponsive once again. I apologize for this uh, short setback, family. I do apologize for this short setback. Let me exit again. Come back in because we're almost done with the most likely the only parts of the video that are going to be freezing up uh, pretty much. And that's when we're looking at the actual exchanges. These are the hardest parts. I may just go through the basic exchange tutorial right now and then come back and do a redo of the advanced exchange. Which is what I may do, which is what I may do. So let's see, let's switch this back over to. Uh, Okay, so we're going to be looking at EOS. Let's let EOS load up. Let's let it load up. The first thing I'm going to show you when it comes on is the actual price chart and what's real significant. Uh, with the basic one, you see you have the time intervals that you can look at, which will dictate the uh, time frame of each candlestick. Right now, we're looking at a day chart. So each one of these candlesticks represent a... a 24 hour amount of price action. You could look at it on a weekly chart. You have an hour, two hour, four hour, three hour choice. You have a one minute, five minute, 15 minute, and 30 minute choice also that you can look at. Let's see if I can get some reaction from this page in order to scroll down to the bottom so we can finish uh, this quick tutorial. I do not know why this thing has been freezing up like this lately. But it has been known to do this constantly. It, uh, really only with the Binance exchange market though. Only with the Binance exchange market. And really only when I go in and try to look at the uh, exchanges. So let's do this one more time. Let's go back in. Going in through Binance. We're going to go in through Binance. And uh, basically what I was trying to show you at the bottom of the page as far as the uh, the actual exchange market goes was the 24-hour uh, order history as well as your open orders. Um, I'm going to do two separate videos showing you how to transact actually with the basic exchange market as well as the advanced exchange market. So don't even worry. What we're going to do is get through the rest of the uh, tabs up here and go through the rest of the system. So um, after the exchange markets, you have the labs, which will open up to a page. And basically what this is going to show you, um, as you can see, Binance Labs is a blockchain technology incubator. So it means they grow. Think of an incubator with eggs. What do they do? They're there to hatch. And what this is, is used to hatch projects. Uh, we focus on pre-ICO projects and teams. And it goes on to say that we are a startup helping other startups. Uh, we are entrepreneurs helping other entrepreneurs. And we are crypto believers helping other crypto believers. We provide funds, advice, resources, a launch pad, listing, as well as ideas and concepts. You can apply. And it goes through the different uh, functions that they do, which we're not going to focus on too much. But uh, real interesting for anyone that is trying to get a project off the ground. They do support those. Next, we have the launch pad which roughly shows you um, the next generation blockchain projects that they are featuring. So as you see, they have the Bread BNB session, Bread ETH session, uh, the Gifto BNB session and the Gifto ETH session. And they say that uh, they have success. Next, we have the Info tab which will take you to the different cryptocurrencies in accordance to their ranking on the Binance exchange market. Um, as you can see, number one, we got Bitcoin and it will show you the price, the 24 hour change, the market cap, the 24 hour volume, uh, the 24 hour volume global. This is Binance and this is global. So as you see, the 24 hour vo uh, volume of Bitcoin on um, Binance is, $279,615,086. The 24-hour volume globally, globally is $2,008,258,041. So 
circulating supply right now is 17,019,512 Bitcoin. Always remember there will only ever be 21 million ever released. So this is in accordance to their ranking. Now, what's real significant about this is you can click on the different tokens and it'll give you a, a preview. Let's click on, let's pick, let's pick Bitcoin Diamond. So what you'll do is you'll pick, you'll click on the token and it will bring up the info on that token as it relates to Binance. So this is Bitcoin Diamond, ranked number 11 on the Binance exchange market, currently trading at $24.63. I know that's a lot different from the four and five dollars that is trading on other exchange markets, but this is a, a, a foreign exchange market. Um, right now it's down 2.5%. The market cap right now is $4,520,298,533. Max supply 210 million coins. The issuance issuance date, the issue date was November 16th, 2017. And right now they have a circulating supply of 183 million. Um, I'll give you a short introduction. Bitcoin Diamond, another hard fork of Bitcoin, claims to solve this problem. Uh, the soon to be released released altcoin fork once the Bitcoin network hits block height 495,866. By the time you read this article, this network should be, but this network block should have been discovered by miners already. It is the third major airdrop Bitcoin users will receive this year, not counting the B2X coins from the uh, Fort Segwit 2X launch. It has been a profitable year for BTC holders in many different ways. That much is certain. What Bitcoin Diamond claims to offer is privacy first and foremost. It seems this fork's developers have found a way to encrypt the transaction amounts and balances of all BCD users. It sounds somewhat similar to Bonero, but it is doubtful that the Bitcoin Diamond implementation is even half as competent. A GitHub report has yet to be created for this altcoin, but that may change once the corrected block is found on the Bitcoin network. And you can uh, add news if you choose, as well as, well as click on it and look at news. Um, right here, they have some news of a partnership they have going on. You'll also be able to take, be taken to their website as well as their Explorer, also their uh, social media sites. So real interesting when using that function. Let's see if we can close this up. We can close this up, close this up, close this up. Now going on with the tutorial, nearing the end. Next you have your funds, which this is where you're gonna come to look at to see your balances. which as of right now, you already know there's a zero balance because this is a demo account. This is a demo account. So what it would be showing right now is our balance in BTC as well as USD. Um, it's gonna show you a 24 hour withdrawal limit as well as, now the thing with Binance is if you have this right here where it's going to hide the smaller uh, coins where you don't have that much to little to none um savings in them or available balance then when you hit this it will not show them so if you only got five cardano or six ada adx or a couple of ae and you hit this hide it will not show them now when you're trading on the binance exchange market what you'll start to uh realize is when you trade in and out of tokens there's always an amount of dust less in each token an amount of satoshis left what you are able to do is convert those to bnb token and i'll do a separate video showing you exactly how to do that um, also under the funds, you have your deposits, which this will be a recorded ledger of the deposits that you have made. And you will be able to select the coin that you want to look at the history as well as make deposits. So let's see if we wanted to deposit Bitcoin. We would type in the ticker of BTC. We would go to Bitcoin. And as you can see, you have the wallet address right here. You can also show the QR code and scan if you're using another device to send the funds from. Now, when we go to withdrawals, as you will see with withdrawals, this is where you would like to withdraw a coin. As you can see, we have no withdrawal history right now. And what you would do once again, you would pick the token that you would want to withdraw. So let's say we wanted to withdraw BTC. We will paste, paste 
our BTC withdraw address here, unless you're using a mobile device and you're able to scan, you would have to copy and paste. You would put the amount here and then you would submit it. And then whatever security precautions you have set up, um, they would be interacted or they would be um, activated. Now, important, you have a minimal withdrawal balance of 0 0.002 BTC. Keep that in mind. There is a minimal withdrawal balance. Do not withdraw directly to a crowdfund or ICO. We will not credit your account with tokens from that sale. Always remember that. Do not withdraw directly to a crowdfund or ICO. Withdraw to a separate wallet and then um, withdraw from that wallet to the crowdfund or the ICO you want to participate in. Next, you will have the transaction history. These are transactions that you have been doing. So you'll be able to come straight here and look at both deposits and withdrawals. Next, you have the orders, which will show you open orders if you have any. These are orders that you are able, these are uh, buy or sell orders or limit orders that have not been transacted yet that will show up here. Um, you have your order history. You have your overall order history, which will show buy, sales, limits, canceled orders. Then you have your actual trade history. And you are able to export your complete history in a uh, print, printed form and save it. This will be your trade history showing uh, your trades, your in and your outs, buys and your sales. And you are able to manipulate it by the coin, the type. If you want to look at all, if you want to look at buy, sell, um, if you want to look at the token versus which ex uh, currency you were trading against. Also, you're able to dictate the dates that you want to look at. Now here you have join us. Let me make sure I went through all this. Yep, we went to trade history, okay. So next on the join us tab, this is just for those um, that may want to be employed by Binance. They are looking for a couple of positions, product manager, project manager, Java developer, marketing, legal and compliance, content writers, customer support, So they do have a number of uh, open opportunities for those that wish to be employed. Next, you have the news. Well, no, before that, excuse me, you have the support. And this is basically if you have any problems or any questions or anything that you can't find within the frequently asked questions of Binance, you would go to the support and you would uh, actually, oh, hold on. You would submit a request to the support system. These are the frequently asked questions that they have. You have such categories as trading, security, deposits and withdrawals, account access, two-fact authentication, and then miscellaneous questions. And the, the, the FAQ, the frequently asked questions, is actually very, very, very helpful. Next, you have the news tab, which is going to show you the announcements, as you can see, Binance will list true USD on 5-18-2018. And then the latest in the news, um, as you can see, they have a total of 227 articles in the news and 144 articles in their announcements. Let's click this one real quick before we end this. I want to see what, they're uh, what is going on with the true USD. Um, so it goes on to say that Binance will open trading for true USD versus BNB versus BNB, BT, I mean versus BTC versus ETH trading pairs. Uh, users can now start depositing true USD in preparation for uh, trading. Note, Chi USD is a stable coin. The value is designed to be 1 TUSD equals 1 USD. Details about true USD. Let's take a look at this real quick because this is very important. Um, let's see. True USD right now up 4.94%. Uh, it has a market cap of $12 million. Max supply of eleven million dollars, uh, eleven million TUSD circulating supply of eleven, and issuance date was January, February, March seventh. It goes on to say the introduction: True USD, part of the Trust Token Asset Tokenization Platform, is a blockchain-based stablecoin pegged to the value of USD. In the True USD system, US dollars are held in the bank accounts of multiple trust companies that have signed escrow agreements rather than in a bank con account controlled by a single company. The contents of said bank accounts are published every day and are subject to monthly audits. 
If someone wants to obtain true USD through the online application, they will need to pass a KYC AML check. Uh, once that's complete, they can send USD to one of the true USD's trust company partners. Uh, once the tr funds are verified by the trust company, their API will instruct the true USD smart contract to issue tokens on a one-to-one -one ratio and to send them to the Ethereum address association with the account at hand. Once in the wallet, the tokens can be transferred to a friend or used as payment, combining the advantages of fiat, stability of trust, with those of cryptocurrencies, reduced fees and transfer times. The users could also redeem real U.S. dollars by sending the TUSD tokens back to the smart contract address, which will notify the trust company and initiate a bank transfer to the user's account. So that's real interesting. I mean, very, very, very interesting if you ask me. And let me see. So that was the news. And that's about it, family, right here. Of course, you got your account. You got your estimated value. You got your uh, account, which will show you your account information, which we're uh, not going to go scroll through. And you have your different languages here. So in a nutshell, family, that was a quick tutorial showing you how to maneuver through the Binance exchange market. Once again, I do apologize that we met resistance while trying to show you the basic uh, exchange as well as the most advanced, the more advanced exchange. As I said, as I promised, I will come back and I will do two separate tutorials. I would do two separate tutorials showing you how to interact on those two different exchange markets. I will do two separate tutorials showing you how to earn, interact on those two different exchange, uh, not ex two different exchanges, but the, um, the basic exchange as well as the advanced exchange. So I want to thank you for viewing this video, family. You already know if you like the content, please hit the like button. If you have any comments, go ahead and comment. I would um, very much appreciate it. Also, share this with anyone that may need to see it. Share this with anyone that may need to see it. Um, until the next video, this is Amir representing Cryptonomic Consultations. Until the next video, peace, power, and prosperity, family. I am out of here.